Hey, what's up? It's Bob Saunders playing Approaching Infinity, and I'm going to try something new. I have three goals right now. One is I'm going to try to do the Monk's quest line. The second is I'm going to try to get the No Crew Deaths Conduct. It is a brand new thing, and uh, I don't think it's ever been attempted or done before we've been talking about it a little bit on the discord but um no crew deaths <laughs> is it possible let's find out and the third thing is i want to check out the new uh reputation system that's in the game uh and also all the fame and infamy changes um you know those systems have been around since the very beginning of the game but they're very opaque. You don't really know what's going on. You don't know when you're getting fame or infamy. You don't know what they do. So uh, I'm trying to make those things a little bit more understandable, like, like with so many things. I'm trying to give you the information that you want. Do you know what's going on in the world? All right. Or at least the world of approaching infinity. So to do no crew deaths, um... I'm going to use the Limiqui ship. I used a code because I created the game and I, I can cheat whenever I want, but I'm not going to cheat on the video. That's kind of the point of doing videos is they keep me from cheating. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to do the, the Limiqui ship here because if you check out, um, the away team does more damage and they take less damage. So like, if I'm going for a no crew deaths conduct, I think that's a real good you know starting place. Uh, also. It has a large crew, so more crew, more hit points. Um, as far as this stuff, I'm not really sure. I hadn't decided on a skill. Monk's Quest is going to be a lot of uh, a lot of ship stuff. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm actually going to go with this, I think. I'm going to go with the mercenary officer with the ship weapon range boosting capability. All right. So, who do I like? Hey. Um, arrested for graffiti. Openly hates the unifiers. I am... Nope. Successful trader. No, carries a customized rifle. That sounds pretty good. Wants to decorate their ship. No. <laughs> Although, you know, those things are coming. That's part of 1.7 is uh, being able to walk your ship. So we may get there. I'm, I've been doing so many other interesting, cool things uh, that I don't know. I don't know when that's going to happen, but... Sure, why not? I'll go with her. All right. Pay it forward. How much do we have available? Let me take 20%. Just a small extra bit there. We got medium, permadeath. Let's go. All right, here's the universe in bite-sized pieces. So uh, something I did recently was... I added an extra setting to, which one is it? Tutorial messages. So there's off and on, like there always has been, but there's never. And so like, if you've played this a million times and you've seen the same messages, like, hey, did you know you can leave a note? Well, you can turn that off and those things, they simply won't happen anymore. So I just turned that off. I'm not going to get a lot of mundane warnings as I move around. Um, I can also turn off automatic scanning. Do that. Okay. Alright, so there's a gruff ship. They came in hot. Back in me, right off the bat. And look at that. I get a little... Get a little reputation notice every time it changes. All right. 
Not quite dead yet. Die, Gruff. And Gruff Rep plus one. They enjoy being blown up. That's not actually it. The Gruff, they respect your strength. They know they started the fight, and they acknowledge that if they lose the fight, well, it's their own fault. That's why... That's why your reputation increases when you kill Gruff. It's not like they actually enjoy dying. They do not. But they sure do like to pick fights, and they understand that that's just kind of part of what's going to happen to them a lot of the time. And as a whole, the Gruff species kind of, uh, you know, they check you out, and they it's like a vetting process, but it's through you killing them. <laughs> All right. So I'm exploring Sector 1. Kind of messing around while I'm talking. Uh, flies are getting low. All right, well, so let's take... Yes, that's fine. I see the space station right there. Let's take our first away mission. My away team has 12 members. I have huge HP. Man. It's like I don't see those before they hit me. Is that blue? Yeah, it's an oxygenator. Okay, that was a <laughs> terrible. I guess my my vision range isn't long enough to safely avoid those things. I'm heading back to the ship. If I'm going for no deaths, man, like, crew lost, zero. Uh, I don't need to waste my time on things I don't need to do. Something I would like is a better, longer range weapon. Oh no, I need better scanners, not better weapons. There we go. Longer range. Terrible scanning. I'm gonna take it though. I'll take this grenade, even though it's Rambler. <sighs> All right, I have no crafting ability at this point. I'll restock one more time. Pick up the shotgun as a swap weapon. Uh, pick up this better shield. So you know right now, just kind of going through the motions, doing the things you always do. Mysterious Anomaly, that's an easy one. I'm gonna go find that right now. So there's going to be pirates in this, uh, oh my, I found the anomaly and it's surrounded by tentaculons. Let me take this opportunity to say hi to them. Are they all lurking? Yep. So every time I'm hailing, I'm getting a little boost to reputation with them. You can only hail each ship one time. But, wait, okay, then they'll move on. So actually now aliens can hail you. That'll happen sometimes. So even if you're not talking to them, they might, uh, they might tell you something. Okay, shipwreck. Okay. Which is kind of crazy that you couldn't do that before. Or like if they couldn't do that before, but you can now. Alright, visit the pirate base, pick up some supplies. So they have an explorer officer with the guardian skill. Um, that's a, that's a definite possibility there. I would like to see the other officer in the other station. Okay... 
That's some fair equipment there. Angler grenade, that's... That's cool. I'm buying that. And it got installed, too. Okay. Pirate quests. Alright. Sell that off. Do you want to join the space pirates? Go pillage the Saigorn. No, I do not. Well, let's see who's down here. Ah, alright, I turn in the banker quest. Oh yeah. Transmuter, asteroid navigator. That's a good one too. Hmm. I'm gonna take the other officer though. I'll take that banker quest. Alright, welcome abo aboard, Moon Berrigan. Yes, you can join the away team. I'll join the away team. Ooh, let's get everyone in different uniforms. She's, she's interesting. Looks a little more like a doctor. There you go. A captain? Not a captain? Are you going to be a good captain? Yeah, you... You get the green one. There you go. All right, we're both on the away team. This shield has double the recharge value of the one I have now. All right. The shipwrecks are the best way to get cybernetic skills. They're also a really, really good way to just die. And I'm, I don't want to die. I don't want my people to die. So. Ye old Tangler Grenade. Check it out. Uh-oh. Yeah, I kind of think that trying to explore a shipwreck with no deaths is terrifying. Angler Grenade does hardly any damage. It just immobilizes things for a while, which is obviously useful. And I can knock him out. All right, I'm going to retreat. Because that was a dumb thing to do. They can't even hit me. That one's free, though. I'm running away. All right, so let's look at him. 17 damage. I could definitely take a hit or two. What's scary? Just a bunch of food. I don't care about food. Alright, there's one hit. I'm fine. Okay, so it looks like there's some webs there, but I think they're probably, yep, they're gone. That's just what I remember being there. Man, I have never explored a shipwreck like this before. I have never been so afraid of getting my people killed. 
I guess I've been a bad captain. I guess I'm not cool. Sorry, guys. All right, didn't take any damage there. There, cybernetic skill. All right, that's what I was looking for. I'm running away. Yeah. Blow it up. Hardly anything. All right, so there's a pirate. Notice how he's not attacking me. Pirates have different behavior now. You may or may not be able to figure it out, but they're not quite as trigger happy as the gruff anymore. So let's take a little scan of this one. More mysterious eggs. I'm gonna pick up some stuff and move on. Supplies. I'm gonna hold on to my data. Wow, I got 50 food. Let me sell that off for a big old 3,000 credits. Hardly anything. All right, restock. Nothing super awesome there. A plasma grenade certainly will do a lot of damage, but I think I'm gonna stick with my tangler for a while. All right, pawn shop. Am I ever gonna use a scrambler grenade? Oh, right, there was a contract. At a planet here, what is it? Vector 3. Okay, I haven't been there yet. So I'm going to turn this whole never thing back on. There it is. Turn back to z just off, normal. And I'm going to head to Sector 3. Oh, hello. See, he hailed me. I didn't hail him. We load it in, take it there, carry it out. So that's the Sigorn introduction. All right, cool. I'm heading to Sector 3. Now let's see what happens when I get to Sector 3. So sure, I have a quest here, and it tells me 11.5. So that's about... I think it was 11.15. Yeah. It's about here. There. I wasn't looking at the numbers. So let's scan. I'm definitely not getting all the information. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to quit and save here, and I need to turn off my Steam integration. So, uh, I am not even going to kill the video. I'm going to kill that. Um, because I don't think it's fair to people who see these pop-ups, or uh, whose names pop up to be in my video. Uh, I also don't want to have to take the time to put a little box over there bases or whatever. So, can I run this without Steam? Yes. Yes, I can. Cool. So far, um, I feel pretty good about this. Certainly, I have not, uh, I haven't accomplished anything yet, you know? I haven't started a monk quest line, but just, uh, just messing around, getting myself together where I need to be, beefing up my crew as much as I can. So you got an officer and a skill. All right, it's me, spin attack. So let's get that equipped. My blue guy still doesn't have anything. All right, there's some art. Cool. <laughs> I don't know anything about art, but I know what I like, what that reference is. Okay. So I should shut up. Oh yeah, shotgun with knockback. Man, I don't think I have any business being on this planet. Alright, I'm using run and gun. And I'm definitely running. And my shotgun will fire every turn as I run.
two. Nope. I'm not doing it. All right, I got no no fame or infamy from that. I am expecting a pop up though. Pretty soon. All right, uh, we would be able to last 185 turns there, because it's only one damage a turn. Talk to the Tentaculons. I'm getting decent rep with them. 66. Cargo minimal, life signs unknown, damage none detected. Let's see what's up here. Ooh, the ship has air pressure and a skill. Ah, it's another red skill. I can only use two. Alright, oh my goodness. What is that thing? A primordial liquidator. But it's in a cage. Check it out. I could open <laughs> open all unoccupied cells. Let's do that. Those cells are damaged. That creature is still trapped. It's like a hospital ship. I think I got another skill. Awesome. Power leap is pretty good. This is neat. It's like the uh, Arboretum. A little place where you can come and sit. Look at the pretty flowers. Alright. Let's head up. Alright, cool. Exploration gives experience. Rec tech. That is just about indispensable. All right. Got skills. So there's some cells down here. Are they occupied? Nope. Haven't encountered any monsters not in cages. Wow. A lot of skills. Okay, area fully mapped. I should be able to tow this one in. Got this one only 82%. And here's the bridge. There's an oxygen pod. This is a nice ship. So let me head out. Why can I not tow it? Oh, the Primordial Liquidator is alive. I'll come back and kill it then. Alright, fame plus seven. Oh crap, I think I just... I just deleted the pop-up that I wanted to show off. It just talks about fame and infamy. In Sector 3, they start to be tracked. If you live that long, people take notice of you. Alright, I came to the Tactaculon station to sell data. They always have a real good price for it. Well, I don't want any of this stuff. Put in the rock plow. How many device slots do I have? Two. Well. Might as well. I mean, why not take the crafting lab quest? Alright, crafting's unlocked. Let's do it. Do the lab. Collect six parts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> first try. First time, first try. Exo armor. Well, that's what this man, that's what I already have. Oh, well. All right, here's a gruff ship. Uh, he's coming too. Just make sure, yep, he is definitely fighting me.
Cool. Survived. Okay, there are too many gruff here. I'm not enjoying that. I need better weapons. He, he got through to my hull. Help me, Tentaculons, you're my only hope. It would not be our place to attack a gruff instigator. <sighs> all right. All right, I'm taking hits from all sides here. I wish he'd come in here, but they won't come into Nebula. He rough right now. Recharge my shield. I'm out strong. Somebody leveled up. Me. Oh. Well. This would certainly come in handy right now. Very soon, I should go over the limit there with the Gruff. I got 64. Oh, let me hail him. Why do purple land squids think all the time? Oh, armor. I don't think I have armor yet. Let's see if it's any good. No, it's terrible. Well, I guess I have two armors. Which one did I pick up? I picked up the ceramic. So yeah, they gave me a good one. Nice. Much better off now. Flies. How did I, how did I lose crew? Crew must have died in the fighting. Okay. I'm looking for what I would assume is a red piece of text. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess that's one down. I'm not going to get the conduct. Okay. I don't think it's possible. If you can lose crew as soon as your shields come down, I guess I could have played more, more safely, but geez. And I'm pretty disappointed now. But I guess I can just do, I can do quests. Damn. Auto explore kind of rocks sometimes. Hey, get that skill. <laughs> I was just complimenting you, you stupid auto explorer. Why did you ignore the obvious treasure? Oh, 
All right, tow it to a station. So let's go to the Tentaculon. You just stop. Okay, there you go. Right. A tactical officer. An awful lot of red skills. I feel like I should diversify. Need somebody yellow. Okay. So here I am in Sector 4. Can I survive? Who lives here? Pirate. Let me take a look at that pirate. He's gone. There's two pirates. All right, 48 hit points, 6 damage. And they're not attacking me. Oh, that's right. I can mine asteroids. There's a quest planet. What is the quest? Vipers. I've seen the station. I'm not worried about that. So there's one Viper. Hit points 33, damage 16. Seems like I am woefully unequipped to handle a large number of these things. My sword's good. But I'm going to have to get surrounded. Leaving Viper doesn't sound fair. Well, I guess I can use the. I guess I can use the mountains. Head back to the shuttle. Do a little rest to heal. Are both my officers on the away team? Yes. Before anybody dies. And I'm gonna hit the station. Oh. So the pirates are coming after me now. Oh, here's another thing uh, surrender has been revamped. So now, if you surrender to an enemy, you're actually gonna have to uh, pay whatever they ask. So that's different. They could ask for credits or supplies, some of your cargo, even artifacts. All right, better sensors. Better weapon. Nice. Now that's a range 2 weapon, which I wouldn't normally touch, except I have that skill, which lets me... Um, ooh, better, better gun. Nice. I have the skill, which lets me shoot farther. Increases crew survival. 
I'll take it. And better scanning too. I'll salvage that. All right, when you craft weapons for the away team, whether ranged or melee, you can decide what type to make, but you must salvage that kind of item first. Taking apart a pistol does not teach you how to craft a beamer and so on. All right, so if I was going to sell the sensors, they're worth a little bit. I will simply salvage them. What is my crafting level? 1.5. Well, that's terrible. Okay. Worse armor, worse gun. Mostly worse suit. <laughs> increase my, my crew size. I really don't need to increase my crew size. Don't want to do that. So, one of the main concerns I have is simply getting to a sector where I can meet some monks and starting their quest. Okay, I'm gonna turn those things back off since I missed the one thing I wanted to get. Hey, what happened? I had my hand in the wrong place. Okay, so there's a force field button. There's a force field, but I don't know what's in the force field. Definite concern. Almost ran out of oxygen. But somewhere around here there might be a note about what's in the force field. Okay, I like my submachine gun. Hmm. Worse. Worse damage output. Should have used spin attack. Huh. Use a air kit. So I'm. Hmm. That's. Oh, I see. I'm trying to leave myself a note about other things to get rid of with that new setting about no pop-ups. So this one reads, we could use a repair kit. So I'll come back and fix that later. Head back to the airlock. All right, I'm going to open the force field. Let's find out what's in there. Art. Ooh, it's assorted stuff, man. Cool. Wow. Yeah, at least it had pretty colors. Ooh, a new skill. All right, I've had enough with this shipwreck. Let's throw it in. Let's 